there's nothing like the look of a shiny new flute. So if you have one and you're seeing it tarnish, that's where your silver color is kind of getting spotty and a bit brown, then you'll want to pay attention here in this video to these four important tips for tarnish removal and prevention to keep that silver color and shine. Now be sure to pay careful attention to tip number four especially, since it's probably something you'll never have thought about before, but it can make a huge difference in tarnish prevention on your instrument. Now before we go any farther, I want to remind you, if you're new here, to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. This way you won't miss out on any of the videos that are coming out here regularly. Let's talk about flute tarnish. I'm Rebecca from Learn Flute Online and from teaching for the past 33 years and helping literally tens of thousands of students enjoy the flute. Something I make sure my students know about is proper care of their instrument. We love it for its sound and we love it for its shine, but it's a sad, sad day when we take a closer look and realize that we have some brown tarnish creeping up all over our flute. And it seems that just wiping it off with a cloth just doesn't work. You'll be glad to know that tarnish on the outside of a flute doesn't really change how it plays, but trying to clean it off improperly can definitely create issues that will slow down your keys and also keep you from sounding your best. So let's go through the four big tips I've prepared for you today in helping to either take the tarnish off and prevent it from coming back or stop it from happening in the first place. Now I'll start by saying I've seen some funky ideas out there for shining up the outside of a flute. It's important for you to know that you do not clean it the same way a brass instrument is taken care of. We don't pull it apart and soak it in the bathtub. And we definitely don't use oils or toothpaste. And we do learn what's okay and what isn't okay to touch. Well, with that being said, let's get going with tip number one. Now, as easy as it sounds, the number one best prevention method for flute tarnish is having a nice daily quick cleaning and maintenance routine of your own. I do have a video on that exact subject here if you'd like to check it out and tighten up your regular procedure. Now, some people have acidic sweat or really greasy fingers. We're human, it's okay. But remembering to just swab out the spit and wipe off our fingerprints and put it safely in its case until the next playing session is the top prevention method for flute tarnish. Leaving your flute out overnight and for multiple nights will ensure a light brown tarnish tint in not too long. But what happens if you already have a good routine every day and your flute still has tarnish on it? Well, let me know in the comments if you've seen tarnish, that brown dark stuff on your flute and what you've done or learned about it before. Well, we need to move to step number two, which is to use some alcohol on your cloth first and then wipe down your flute well. Now, before I say even one more word, I want to tell you that under no circumstance should you ever, ever, ever touch the pads under your flute keys with alcohol. This will damage them very quickly and your flute will sound terrible because of leaks and puffy pads very quickly. Now the only remedy after that is to get the pads replaced, which is pretty expensive. So listen up how to use this properly. There are different types of alcohol out there, so let's clarify what we're using on our flute. The first types are rubbing an isopropyl alcohol, which you can also find in these handy little wipes. Now you can keep these in your music backpack. They're handy to use in a pinch after playing your flute in a concert or if you're away from home especially. Now the next type of alcohol is called denatured alcohol or methylated spirits. It's called something different depending on where you're from in the world, but it does wonders for a silver plated or even solid silver flute. It does a better job than the wipes in my opinion, and if you haven't ever used it, you can notice that it comes in kind of like a paint thinner type of a can and should be used very, very carefully. Now make sure it goes on your cloth first and then rubbed onto the instrument. Never pour alcohol into your head joint. There's a cork in there that will shrivel or allow any alcohol to touch the pads. It will make them poof and crack. Now let's move on to tarnish removal and prevention tip number three, which is to answer the common question of, 
can you use silver polish to get the tarnish off your flute? And the answer is yes, but no. <laughs> now, yes, because it will appear to be doing the job if used properly, the right type and with the correct cloth, and no, because if any of this silver polish goo touches any parts of the mechanism, like the rods and the springs, then there's no way it can effectively be wiped out of those tiny little crevices. So what happens within just a few days or weeks of using silver polish in these areas on your flute is that your keys will start to move slower and slower, coming up especially, slower and slower. And this means that they're all gummed up inside. Now flutes already come with the mechanisms lubed correctly and adding anything like oils, toothpaste or silver polish just creates the opposite effect you're going for, which is a nice shiny flute that looks and sounds great. It really just won't play well for you ever again until getting a complete overhaul if you use the silver polish ineffectively. So leave touching the mechanisms to the flute technicians who've been trained. That's my professional advice. No matter how hard we try, our flutes get tarnished in these areas and it's still best to leave it all alone. If you're using the proper cloth and following the tips from this video and my other cleaning videos, your flute will stay in really nice condition for many, many years to come. So how much is an overhaul and a thorough cleaning from a good technician? Well, depending on the quality and level of your instrument, it can cost more than you paid for your flute to start with. So learning how to take care of your flute properly will save you a big bundle over time, for sure. And last but not least, we are to number four now, which is to always, always keep a silver saver paper in your case. Wait, what's a silver saver paper? Well, when I was a little girl, I remember a big wooden chest in a special cupboard in my grandmother's kitchen. It held all of her real silverware, like the forks and the knives and the fancy spoons. Well, before silver saver papers were invented, we used to have to take out the silver and hand polish it often, or it all turned brown from tarnish. So as you can imagine, <laughs> now we can prolong tarnish creeping onto our flute by using all of the tips that I've already given you above for your flute, your silver flute, and by also adding this tip, a silver saver paper, to our case and rotating it every four to six months. Now, I like to use these. I think a smaller one could do, and a larger one might be overkill, but this, this size seems perfect for me. I'll add the link below in the description so that you can click and order the same ones that I have. They're very inexpensive and totally worth it. Now, here's how you use a silver saver paper. Just write today's date on it and then place it in the lid of your case. And when you put your flute away each day, you can just place it right back in the lid and close the case. This is all you have to do. It's an extra tip for extra shine. Well, there you go. That's what you need to know for keeping tarnish at bay and four great tips on removal and prevention. So if you're just getting started playing the flute, the other thing that's important to have is a great set of resources to help you make progress quickly and to help you not feel lost. I've put together an excellent free set of five modules containing video lessons called The Silver Level. And in there, there are some beginner lessons to easily get you started making a good sound and flute specific exercises and music reading skills as well that everyone can benefit from so that you can have the proper foundation to play absolutely any type of music you want to, no matter what stage you're in right now. Now there's no charge and I'll put a link down here below so that you can go and get started today. It's already helped tens of thousands of flute players around the globe. So there you go. I hope you found this video about flute tarnish with tips for removal and prevention useful. I'm really looking forward to seeing your comments and having a discussion about flute tarnish and what you've learned before. I'll link to the silver saver papers below in the description as well. Now if you've found value in this video, please like and subscribe and click that bell icon. But more importantly, go and explore the other videos here on my channel because there are loads of other tips to help you on your flute improvement journey. Enjoy, see you again soon.